Hello there, this is Matt, the average gun owner, and I just wanna answer a question for some of the students I've been qualifying for their concealed carry permits about basically why are holsters so uncomfortable. And my answer to them is they're not. Now, I know I don't live in a free state, but I have been carrying uh, on and off for a couple of decades now when I travel for work mostly uh, and on duty, but that's a whole different setup and a whole different belt system. But when I do carry day to day, I wear usually a dress shirt, either a sweater or a suit jacket or just a white dress shirt. So for me, having very deep ultimate concealment was very important to me. And when I first started carrying, I quickly learned that, you know, the old adage where everybody says you're going to have a junk drawer full of holsters, uh, that started to become true for me. And I, I quickly realized what the two keys are to holster comfort. I, I, I get it. You watch all these YouTubers and, you know, this guy will tell you the mission first is the best or tolster is the best or... Um, I have another one at tier one, I think it is, that that's the best, or crossbreed is the best. And I'm telling you, they're all right. They're all right because the key is having a rigid belt. This is kind of a double ply leather. They have some that have a polymer insert or a metal insert, but you want a belt that's rigid. This one's about six months old and it's still pretty, you know, quite rigid, which I found helped. And then I went with this. Um, and I'm not advocating for the hybrid holsters, but I needed something that was tuckable. So I go with this one that has the Velcro on the inside and the Velcro J-hooks, which was great because when you're wearing a shirt, you do not see the clips or anything. But I quickly realized, hey, this doesn't move on me. So yeah, I spent two or three days fiddling around with the position around the belt or, and, and changing the cant on it because it's all adjustable. And I changed the clips from another holster and I'm, I finally realized, you know, it took a couple of days, but I now walk around all day and, you know, many times forget I'm even carrying a firearm. And then I traveled down to uh, North Carolina and I decided to carry my uh, double stack nine millimeter and I was wearing very thin summer sh shorts and a t-shirt and quickly realized this is uncomfortable. And I thought it was, well, I just can't carry a double stack nine millimeter. Well, here's the problem. The problem is the clip. I mean, other than having a rigid belt, the biggest problem in holster comfort is going to be the clip. These belts, for the most part, are one and a half inch belts. You can get a one and three quarter inch gun belt. I generally wear the one and a half because I wear suit pants and I found the one and three quarter uh, belts sometimes don't fit the loops on suit pants. So I'm stuck with a one and a half inch belt like many people wear and I'm realizing the gun's moving around on me, the heel of it, the butt of the, the grip is printing, it's, it's moving around and jamming me in the pelvis and I'm like, this is just, this is crazy, this is uncomfortable. So then it kind of hit me one night. I said, well, you know, maybe it's the issue with this moving around so much. So I kind of, you know, stuck some power cord in there to keep it from moving around and that was a lot better. So what I did was basically after that, uh, I bought a holster that happened to have a one and a half inch clip. I had a one and a half inch clip on it. I put this one on. The pistol doesn't, barely even moves on the belt there. You have this kind of movement, a lot of rotation down to like maybe five degrees of rotation. And I was thinking, wait a minute, that's kind of odd. That's kind of like my you no know, hybrid holster here that has the Velcro. This is this is kind of uh, comfortable. So I took this clip off of my small single stack nine and I put it on the holster for my double stack nine. And oh my God, I'll tell you by two in the afternoon, I didn't even realize I was carrying a double stack nine millimeter in a hundred degree wheat, hundred degree heat with a very thin T-shirt on, and it dawned on me. All these advertisers and gun tubers telling you, buy this brand of holster, it's the best. Buy that one, it's the best. I now have, through purchasing on the internet, I think the site I went to was holsterbuilder.com. I bought about $70 worth of different screws, spacers, you know, the little claw and wing mechanisms, and clips of different sizes and different lengths. They have these, you know, you, you just... Buy a few, and if you're gonna spend money, spend the money, here, different lengths, spend the money on the extra clips, the different sizes, and get the clip that matches your belt size. So I put the clip from this holster 
on my double stack nine the next day. And like I said, I didn't even realize it was there. And you know, that's the deal. I, I need something that is tuckable for the shirt. That's fine. They have the wings here. Well, some of the other wings have attachments that hang off of them. And some of them are too big. Some of them aren't in the right place. You can buy a lot of this stuff is generically sized and, and universal and it fits, you know, one, one to the other. I'll tell you the screws, the spacers, the barrel spacers, and this clip, which is also adjustable for camp. Can't even the wing. None of this is original to this holster. And I don't even remember which holster is which because the brand names were on the clips, not on the holsters. So I can't even tell you which one this is, but I really think that's irrelevant at this point. It is not the holster that's making it uncomfortable because I have taken every one of the holsters that was in my drunk junk drawer and I have put the different clips on them, the proper size clip, whether it's the wider one, whether it's a ulti tuck, which is a spring, it actually clips on fabric, or even the clip that came with the tolster. This is a skinnier clip, but this is the one in seven five. This one's too big and it moves around too much, but I have the one and a half inch clip that even holds that thinner clip holds nice and tight. And it's great if you're wearing a white dress shirt and you're wearing a brown belt, they don't make these clips in brown as far as I've seen. So, you know, it's thin enough that you put it up against a black belt loop. And I can tell you, nobody would ever know. Even people who know I'm carrying will look at me and say, oh, you're not carrying today. Yeah, I am carrying, but having the right clip helps. Uh, again, remember these thicker clips, not that great for like dress, you know, wear like white shirts and, and not wearing a jacket or a sweater over it. These clips, these wider clips, if you're wearing something other than a black belt will stick out like a sore thumb and they will be easy to spot. So you want to go probably with one of the thinner clips this Tolster clip, which is a generic one, and they sell these unbranded off holsterbuilder.com. You can buy one, one and a half. It's a very tight clip, and it's gonna hold that holster in place and not move. So I hope this helps you. Uh, some people, uh, not just people new to conceal carry. I mean, this advice, I think, applies to anybody. I see so many people out there now uh, saying, oh, I bought this, you know, pistol holster. A YouTuber told me it was great, and it just didn't work for me. And I'm telling people now, I. Right, don't ditch the holster. Try different clips. Get the parts yourself, tinker, and try different clips. And I have found that every one of the holsters that I have in my drawer has now gone back into my rotation. And each one serves a different purpose based on the pistol, based on uh, the conditions of how I'm dressing and how deep I need the concealment. So I hope this information is helpful. Uh, you know, it's the one thing I'm watching all these videos on holsters because I was looking for a video to send to a few of my recent students and none of the videos fit the bill because nobody, some people talk about the belt, okay, but nobody talks about the clip size. And I think second to the belt, that is the most important. Things like, you know, length of the sweat guard. Yeah, that can make a little bit of difference in comfort. If it's low, you have the metal up against you, the sweat guard for some people helps. You have, I always get the lower cut in the front just in case I get a new slide with a, a red dot on it. You can get that. Um, you get the combat cut on some of them, which just means there's less material in the back so you can get a better grip and draw on it. Yeah, those make change, those make differences in how well your holster performs, but I don't really think they make a difference when it comes to comfort. Those are different options you can order that go to usability. The combat cut is the one the RMR red dot cut, which I suggest always getting. I've never found that that's inhibited, you know, the holster, you know, holding the pistol better or not. And what they call the sweat guard or some manufacturers call the sweat guard. You can get a low one or you can get the higher one. I happen to go with the higher ones. I avoided them at first, but I find, you know, that the Kydex is a little bit of an insulator. So if the pistol's hot or if the metal's cold in the winter, you don't feel it. You have that little bit of insulating layer and that works for me, but whatever, works for you is golden but if you take no other advice that i ever give on this channel uh just go out and buy a few clips they make them in different lengths they make some that have one hole or two hole depending on the type of holster but many of them are interchangeable and then adjustable for can so get the clip figure out the can and uh trust me you're, you're going to increase the level of comfort tenfold literally just by having the right belt and having the right clip so again, this is Matthew. 
the average gun owner, and good luck on your search for the right holster if that's where you are right now.